Hello everyone, I'm Casey Holmes and welcome to The Makeup Room. I don't know about you, but in the clash between Batman and Superman, I'm rooting for Wonder Woman. So today, we're dusting off our capes and using our powers for good as we transform into the ultimate female superhero for the upcoming blockbuster, Batman vs Superman. This week on The Makeup Room, I'm gonna show you how to pull off Gal Gadot's fierce look as Wonder Woman. Let's get started. She with you? I thought she was with you. Okay, so I've already applied an eyeshadow primer and a vanilla eyeshadow on my lids just for a base. And we're gonna work with more warm, smoky browns today. So this is the Morphe 350 palette. It's really great, you need it in your life. But we're gonna start out with this color right here, which is just a nice medium brown shade. We're gonna take a fluffy brush and blend that into the crease. And it can go a little bit above and below the crease. This is just gonna be our transition shade to help blend all the other colors up towards the brow. And then what I'm gonna do is take some more tape, put it on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna do this so I don't get a ton of fallout on my face. I'm gonna take some of the stickiness off by putting it on the back of my hand a couple times. And again, line it up with your lower lash line up towards your brow, just so you get a nice angle. Okay, and then I'm going to take this shade right here and apply it all over my lid. And you wanna take it up towards the crease. And I like this brush by MAC, it's the 242. It just really packs on the color nicely and you get a lot of control with it. Okay, now I'm gonna take this shade right next to it and put this right into the crease to help blend out that color. So you just wanna lightly start taking it in there. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is take this darker brown right here and put this into the outer V. I'm using a Sigma Bluff and Blend brush. I'm just gonna put this right out here to deepen it up a little bit. And you could take it into the crease as well. Then I'm gonna take that first shade we used with the same brush and just blend this out again. Just so we don't have any harsh lines and everything blends nicely. Then I'm gonna take that darker brown again with a pencil brush and blend this right there at the top of my upper lash line. So you can kind of pull it just a little bit really gently and just dust this. It's not gonna do too much, it's just gonna add a little bit of color right there. A little bit extra smokiness. Then we're gonna go ahead and just remove this tape really gently. Okay. So before I apply my eyeliner, I am gonna take a makeup wipe and just clean up right here at the lower lash line a little bit and take out any extra eyeshadow that may have gotten past that tape. Okay, and then I'm gonna take just a regular matte black eyeliner and do a thin line on my upper lash line. Okay, so now that we have eyeliner on, I am gonna apply some lashes. These are Coco Lashes in Coco. I believe, and they're really pretty and fluffy. So I'm going to add some mascara, curl my lashes, and then put these on as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is to make our eyelashes look a little bit fuller, again, is we're gonna take a black eyeliner and just line the upper waterline. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and let our lash glue dry and we can move on to face. We're gonna go ahead and apply face primers before we put on our foundation. Skin. 
and then I'm just going to apply my favorite concealer and foundation duo per usual. So just the Too Faced Born This Way and the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Okay, so Wonder Woman has a really nice bright under eye, so I'm gonna make sure I apply my concealer down like this. It's just gonna highlight the area and conceal all the darkness that I have. I'm also gonna highlight the center of the face. With such a dark eye, you wanna make sure you really get that concealer in the inner corner, just so it doesn't bring everything in and make it look too deep. You still wanna keep that inner corner pretty bright. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs palette with a contour shade and this highlight yellow kind of banana powder shade. And I'm gonna use this to set all of that concealer that I just put on. You could also use translucent powder if that's what you prefer. I just like the more yellow tone because it helps brighten up just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna use this shade in the palette as well. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of a contour just to make my cheekbones pop a little bit. So I'm gonna put this in the hollows of my cheeks. Okay, for cheeks, I'm gonna use something a little bit natural, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna take Dandelion from Benefit and just put that on the apples of my cheeks and brush it out. And then I'm gonna take my Duo Fiber Brush and just blend that out just adds a little bit of flush of color, so it's not too plain. And it looks like she has a little bit of highlight, so I'm gonna take one of my personal favorites. It's the Benefit What's Up. This is a really good highlighter, and it just looks so pretty on the skin. It's a champagne shade. I'm gonna use a brush by Cover FX. It says it's from Cream Foundation, but you can use whatever brushes that you want for whatever purpose. I'm gonna just put this on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm not gonna go too heavy with it, just adding a little bit of shine up there just to help make those cheekbones pop. Also going a little bit on my lip down the center of the nose. And so now I'm gonna fill in my brows. I'm not gonna do anything special. I'm just gonna fill in my brows how I normally would because she has really nice full brows. So I'm just gonna take the Anastasia Dip Brow in Soft Brown and put this on. Okay, and now I'm just going to set them in place with some brow gel. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a black coal liner and just line my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take my pencil brush and this shade right here. And we're just gonna put this on the lower lash line and really just blend it out, make it look nice and smoky. And I'm just gonna take a little clean brush and kind of take this around the edges of that just to blend it out. Then we're gonna take our mascara and put some on our lower lashes. And then before we move on, I am gonna touch up the liner really quickly. So I'm gonna take the same one that we used and just put it over the lash band to cover it up. Okay, and now we're gonna do just a darker nude for the lip. So I'm gonna take Max Whirl and just put this all over. Then I'm gonna take one of my favorite shades and this is Urban Decay's 1993. It's so pretty and I'm just gonna put this on my lips. There you have it, we are officially Wonder Woman and ready to take on the world. As Batman and Superman engage in the ultimate battle, avoid a battle of your own by ditching the crowds and getting your tickets at the link below. I for one would take on any nemesis to make it to Regal on March 25th to see Batman vs Superman. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more episodes of The Makeup Room and other great videos. Now go work wonders, the faith of Gotham is in your